There's not much to this video. We made a Discord talk show. It wasn't great. Uh, this is not scuffed. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Winter's Cool Discord Talk Show. Pause for applause. You need to clap now. You are cool. Yeah. Yes. Epic. Let's yeah. go. Yes. Okay, stop clapping now. As it'll probably go down in history, Winter's Cool Discord Shit Show. Uh, so how are you all? Don't answer that. That's a rhetorical question. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, Paul. Wow. Things in the world kind of suck right now, so that's what this show is for. I'm not going to be talking about the latest democracy-threatening move by the uh, most recent president. The whole point of the show is to make you smile and laugh by force if need be. Pause for laughter. Laugh now. And laughter! Laughing <laughs> 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 That's funny. I know not being able to talk about politics kind of reduces the topics for this show, so I'll talk about something I know that most of my audience actually cares about. Nintendo. It was announced a while ago now. This was actually written like a week after this happened, but it was a while ago now that uh, you can now buy a single Joy-Con for just $40. <laughs> People are outraged because this means that a single Joy-Con is now the price of Sonic Forces, an equally as poorly thought out and constructed product with equally as many mechanical flaws. You know what they say though? Woo! I'm proud of that one, actually. <laughs> you know what they say, though? Half of 70 is 40. I stole that line, and I don't regret you it for a second. Yeah, I you did. Stole <laughs> I did. Yeah. You... In other news, I and, and I hate to have lied, but I do have a political topic to talk about. <gasps> Almost two weeks ago now, uh, my running mate and I won the election for the presidency of the United States of America. Um... <laughs> Woo! President! Yeah. I am the president-elect, it's true. He, uh, my pre vice president, Symphony, that is, uh, gave a speech about his plans to fix this country, more specifically the economy, and I'm pleased to announce that we have an interview with him tonight, where he'll be telling us more about his plans as the vice president. Anyway, that's it for the monologue. I have a few interviews coming up, one with the aforementioned vice president, and one with everybody's favorite gamer. We'll start the interviews right after this commercial break. How convenient that I literally wrote that segue into the live script. This video is sponsored by the subscribe button. I'm not going to pull the bullshit about the glitch in YouTube that doesn't exist or anything. I'm not going to pull out the statistics. I'm just saying if you subscribe, that is helping me. So, I mean subscribe you know what you get for subscribing i hesitate to call it good content but you get some okay content in your sub box every now and then and it's free poggers call this number now welcome back to winter's cool discard talk show my first guest is future vice president uh actually vice president elect this was written before the election and my running mate Aiden Symphony Smash Brothers, please clap now. Pause for applause. Clapping okay, noises. stop clapping. No! Imagine the clap. Oh, <laughs> what? So, Aiden, this interview, uh, believe it or not, uh, is completely unscripted. I don't have any questions prepared ahead of time. This is all improvised. I don't believe you. That's nice. So, tell me about yourself. What are your plans as the new vice president elect? Because clearly um, you're the one wearing the pants in this administration. Pretty much. I'm the only person with ideas, like, at all. Let me break down my plans, right? Yep. Um, my plans are to uh, help the economy. Uh, I'm already, gonna, you've already done that. I, I have gone over that. Printed. I'm going to help the environment by helping the economy. I'm going to find true love. Um, uh, I feel like you're I'm going gonna... beyond your office there. No, that, no that's part of my, that's one of my policies. Aiden. I have a very important question to ask you here. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about the Pokemon Skrelp? Um, so, for, quite frankly, right? Yeah. I think, I, I, I respect all walks of life. I respect all creeds. Uh, unless you're Skrelp. Like, I have a deep-seated <laughs> hatred for that Pokemon. Okay. Because I'm... 
is very Look. poor. So, yeah. uh, I understand that to save the economy, we are allowed to now just create money, which is a wonderful plan. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I made a guide thing, on it. One other thing I have to wonder, can we also perhaps create larger denominations of money, such as maybe $1,000 bills, just so we can really buy more expensive stuff and just really, really, truly save the economy? That? Um, okay, if you look up, if you if you could find a picture of a thousand dollar bill online, go nuts, dude. Exactly. Like, See, and that's literally... why I chose this guy as my vice president. He's so open minded. I'm sorry if there are any more questions, but I think this is where we're gonna have to cut the questions for the vice president. My <laughs> next guest is everybody's favorite gamer. You can show yourself <laughs> now. Pause for applause. Uh, that that means Aiden. Uh... Uh, that means Nox Aiden. You're my next guest, Nox Aiden. So I got some some good questions for you today. Uh, uh huh. The first one being, what's it like being Fortnite Ninja? Um, there's a lot of the, what? Nothing. There's a lot. Of... There's a lot. Of... <laughs> okay. Well, y there's you know, a lot of Fortnite. It. It was a bit of a shock that I was actually able to get Ninja to be on the first episode of this talk show. Yeah, um, I'm Ninja from Fortnite. So Ninja, despite being mm -hmm. a Canadian, uh, you seem to have like a very big interest in football, more specifically the Detroit Lions. Why? Yes, because I hate my home country. I don't like it when you call me Ninja, okay? But you are Ninja. <laughs> Call me Tyler Blevins. Okay. Oh, sorry. Can can I call you the Ble <laughs> Can I call you the Blevinator? No. Well, I don't like countries. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sound of the boys. They're coming. Can Can you give us some political opinions, Blebster? Um. Well, you see, my mom just got me something from McDonald's. Mister Mister Blevins, if I may call you that. Yeah. You still live with your mom? Yeah. What's that like? Uh, Twitch Prime subs have gone down. My well, bank account is in the negative. No, that was actually one of my questions. What's it like having to go back to Twitch from Mixer? Um, well, you see, I don't have the um, privilege of working with the glorious miracle company Microsoft Windows. That's not the name of the company. I feel like you just you don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Blevins. Microsoft Windows, now 399 I am not Fortnite Ninja. Wait, who are you? I'm your friend. <laughs> oh, okay, I... that's, de that's definitely a lie. Yeah, I, I thought I got Fortnite Ninja on the show. Oh, Aiden, you're not my friend. Aww. I'm just kidding. I mean, I thought I got Fortnite Ninja on the show. I mean, you can tell us your real name if you want. My f real full name. If you want. It's, it's going okay, on the so internet. Security number. My name's Aiden. All right. Can you give us your credit card number? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yes. It was me that hit Ninja's car. It, well, he deserved well, it for writing a book on gaming for kids. No! Ninja's gaming book is fucking as a masterpiece. No, it's not. Here, oh, here I'll get it. Aiden, everybody. Oh. Applause, please, for Aiden, everybody. <laughs> I yeah. hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I thought you were Fortnite Ninja. We, I, this is my mistake. I would love to interview you in the next you episode of this I show. you think I'm stupid? Do Look. you think I have an Look. IQ of Fortnite Ninja? Look. Look, if we get approved for a second episode of this show, Aiden, you mm -hmm. can be on it. I'll interview you. No! <laughs> All right, Aiden, everybody, another round of Imagine applause, please. To you again. Another round of applause, please. Bravo. Oh, God, why is he back? Oh, God. <laughs> this, is, this has been a great show. You know, we've had a lot of um, downs. And uh, you see, the thing is about this show, I wrote the monologue. I, I didn't bother to write one for the end of the show. So this is all improvised. I I mean you know